In the world today, we have to embrace technology where we can, and that includes in our business. And obviously, you know, we're going to use whatever we can to assist us in the fight against poaching. And what's interesting is it's got two components to it. You've got your abnormal behavior detection, but then you've also got the component where we can plan or we can program it to send us a message as often as we want, all right? So um, when I say send us a message as often as we want, the collars on the rhinos communicate with the gateway, the gateway communicates with our computers. The uh, abnormal behavior detection is actually based on uh, artificial intelligence. And what they've done is they've taken a white rhino male, a white rhino female, black rhino male, black rhino female, put collars on them, taken all that data and through the AI, they can determine what is normal behavior and what's abnormal behavior. So when we put on a collar, it's got to be one that will be specifically for a white rhino female. And it gets recorded as such, okay? If something out of the norm happens there, it'll send us either the gray, amber, or red alerts. Obviously, the, the red being the most serious, of course. It is nice because, I mean, your whole APU team would rely on just going out and trying to find the rhino. Yes. And me as well. Yeah. And that took up a lot of time and a lot of energy just yeah. doing that every day. So at least now yeah. when an alert comes through, we know where the yeah. rhino is. And you know where they are yeah. at all the time. And because the drone that we have now is linked to the system, we're able to fly the drone overhead of the area. So even if the rhino is in the thicket, we use the thermal to be able to find the rhino and make sure that it is all right. You know, yeah. we, we've always tried to maintain as natural a system as possible, but I think anybody will forgive us seeing a collar on a rhino's foot, knowing that that collar is there for the protection of that animal yeah. under the current, current uh, poaching onslaught that is happening. This project will be a massive undertaking by the team, and they will need to dart and collar every rhino on the reserve. But this is only one of the many ways the conservation team protects and conserves this vulnerable species. Oh.